Hi, I'm back at Dutchy College where I used to work as a conservation lecturer and there's two uh, areas of woodland or potential woodland that have got quite an interesting contrast that I'd like to show you. Now, there, I suppose there's not a completely direct comparison because one of the areas was planted um, perhaps three years ago, three winters ago and then the second area has been allowed to naturally regenerate uh, for perhaps the last 10, 15 years, something like that. But, um, and, and there's, a, there's a difference perhaps in the um, climactic conditions, perhaps because one of the areas is a little bit higher, the tree planting area is a little bit higher up, whereas the, um, the natural regeneration area is a little bit lower and a bit more sheltered. But I still think it's it's uh, worth making the comparison. So I'll I'll show you both uh, both the areas and, and you can have a look. This is an area where we've planted trees. About uh, 300, I think 300 trees were planted here to prepare the ground before the trees were planted. The area was ploughed over and, and then the trees are planted in winter. They came from the Woodland Trust in one of the tree planting schemes. And so you've got a range of native species, hawthorn, um, willow, oak. And you can see that, well, so we're three years, three years on, the trees haven't grown in a huge amount. And I think it's because um, several factors. I think it's because the uh, degree of competition that they're having to cope with from all of the grasses that are around the trees and also having the ground ploughed just before uh, they were planted meant that uh, it was very much broken up so all of the kind of microbial, uh, uh, the, the soil biota, the, um, uh, the fungi were, were disturbed and so they're not doing fantastically well. The taller trees are rowans and they, they were planted as, as, as taller trees, but these came, all came in as whips, so one year old trees. And I just feel like they're, they're struggling a bit. Perhaps mulching would, uh, would, would help a little bit. We've done, we did do some mulching on some of these trees, but even so, um, yeah, I think that this, this, it's the level of competition they're facing from, from these grasses. So, it doesn't really feel anywhere like a, a woodland yet. It feels like uh, a field that's had trees planted in it, but not anything like a woodland. So, this is the second area that I wanted to show you, and it feels quite different here. What has happened in this uh, little patch is this used to be a plantation of a plant called Pittosporum. Uh, I can see a little bit of Pittosporum just there. It's a, it's a New Zealand plant which I think was originally planted for uh, as, a, as a foliage crop, I think for flower arranging, that, that kind of thing. Um, and, and then there's another block which is eucalyptus and I'll show you that in a minute. But what has happened here is that over the years the pittosporum over the last 15 years or so the pittosporum has gradually been taken out and interestingly underneath the pittosporum native trees have been uh, uh, regenerating so all of these trees that are here now haven't been planted they've sowed themselves or have been sowed sown by natural processes and it has quite a different feeling here these these feel it feels here like a woodland. Now, of course, admittedly, this, this is um, quite a few years on from the other area, but I just feel like these trees had an advantage in a sense because they were, uh, they were kind of starting off in, a, in an environment which felt like, which had the, had the um, component physical parts of a, of a woodland, a woodland ecosystem. And look, so we've got a huge range of species that have, that have uh, introduced themselves. It's great to see. So there's hazel just here, there's oak just there, 
Um, we have got some, you know, one of those, some of those trees that are sort of naturalised rather than native, but all the same, they add diversity. So we've got sycamore there, that's a tree with a large maple-like leaf. And then this is another one which is not a native, but uh, I think it, it adds diversity, physical diversity anyway. This is called holm oak. And lots of, lots of hazel, interestingly, which sometimes in the west of Cornwall is, is unusual to see. So if we walk into um, this track a little way, you can see that's the eucalyptus, the block of eucalyptus, and then the pittosporum was over on this side. Um, the eucalyptus is very fast growing, but quite short lived. And so quite a lot of these eucalyptus um, are now falling down because they're quite shallow rooted. But underneath the eucalyptus, you can see that upper coming willow, hazel, there's some ash in there as well. Hawthorn, there's hawthorn here. So all of these trees are self-seeded. They're all coming by, back by natural regeneration. Willow, a horse chestnut, don't know how that got there. That's another one of those kind of high native, naturalised, perhaps. Ash, lovely tree to see. Although, of course, uh, perhaps ash dieback is on the way, which is a bit of a, a worry. Oak, oh, hawthorn looking lovely and in flower. And then just down in this area here, you can see that uh, in this area, this is an area that's been cleared more recently. I actually went through and, and um, indicated to the students which trees not to cut down. So the um, ash trees have got a little bit of tape around them. A few years ago I did that. But you can see the, the, uh, these are the stumps of the Pittosporum. And all of these more native trees have come up quite nicely underneath underneath the Pittosporum. I'll just show you if I can find a little bit of Pittosporum to show you what the leaf looks like. Or maybe the students have... Yeah, most of it's gone now. Oh, here we go, this is Pittosporum. So this is what Pittosporum looks like. So when I uh, first came here, this was a thick, dark plantation of Pittosporum. Um, it was cut down occasionally, but I think it hadn't been cut for, for 10 or 20 years, so this was quite dark. And now what we're getting is some really beautiful um, natural regeneration of woodland here. So I hope that was interesting, seeing those two areas. Um, I, perhaps there isn't a direct comparison because of the the time factor involved and the uh, the sort of the local climate conditions, the exposure factors, and it would probably be better to have a you know a direct comparison of the two. But I just I've got that feeling that the first trees, the area of first trees, they're kind of struggling. Um, they're trees that were brought in from a national scheme, so maybe they're not of a um, uh, you know, uh, uh, of, of a local provenance, whereas the second trees certainly are because they, they weren't planted. And uh, it just feels to me like in, in the second area, those trees have had the opportunity to grow in conditions where, you know, in, in almost sort of semi woodland conditions or scrub conditions. The, I think the Pittosporum was kind of replicating a scrub environment for them. I've watched those trees over the past. Uh, five ten years and they always looked they just had that feeling of looking like healthy trees whereas the ones in the first area look like they're struggling a little bit to me okay i just thought i would show you that i thought it was quite an interesting comparison hope you find it useful